Hello everyone, I am George Lyson Pabona. I am in charge to be narrator and Fritz Egypt. Hope you like it. My name is Asa Sanchez and I'm in charge of editing and script writing. I am Ariela May Abiera. I'm also in charge for script writing and editing. Hello everyone, my name is Crystal Eunice May B. Mahusay and I'm in charge of the narrator. Hi, my name is Stepan Ray Ibaristo from STEM 11-7. I am in charge as Emma. The Prague Princess The Prague Princess is the fairy tale, children, and household tales, best known as The Princess and the Prague by E.D. Baker. It is the first story collection that became a movie by the 2009 Disney Animated Musical Film. The Princess and the Frog are loosely based on this novel. Emeralda, aka Emma, is the princess and hero of Greater Greensward. One of her most distinct traits is her unique laugh, which sounds like a donkey's prey. One day, when her mother, Queen Chartreuse, says she has to marry the stock of Prince George from East Arabia, her worst enemy, she runs off to the swamp and she met the frog. Emma was silently walking when a snake suddenly slithered onto the path from the tall grass. She slipped and grasshopper exploded from the ground. The snake disappeared. She edged away searching for something that could be used to defend when the snake reappears. Thanks a lot. Who said that? It's me. Hey, over here. You aren't very observant, are you? Emma searched where the sound came from. She turned towards the boys, but she could see it was the fun and the frog staring at her. She jumped when the frog spoke. They talked about things until the frog found out that she was a princess. He introduces himself as a Prince Edric. A witch curse turned him into a frog, and only Prince's kiss can return him into his natural form. Emma is a little taken back, but ultimately just glad to have a confidence. After she gets animosity towards her arranged marriage of her chest, the frog convinces her to kiss him to break the spell on him. To everyone's surprise, the spell backfires and turns Emma into a frog as well. A dog persistently chases them throughout the journey. Journey to return to their natural forms. Prince and princess encounter terrible dangers, make new friends, and learn lessons. You can be a frog and not know how to swim, so Edric makes Emma jump in the deep end. He also teaches her how to find food and protect herself from the many enemies in the swamp, including but not limited to birds, snakes, and witches. Those sounds like for the worst me. Not if you keep your wits about you and pay attention to what's going on, which is something you need to learn to do. I guess I have been a little preoccupied. Do you think so? Come on, a dozen dragon could have landed here and you wouldn't have noticed. You're lucky that I am the one who climbed on onto this log. But don't worry, I got you into this, so I'll teach you what you need to know. To make the story short, they go to the site where Edric insulted and was cursed by the witch that transported him. They find an ugly woman searching there. Is that the witch you're talking about? Hey look, it's that Nadine, the witch that had cursed you. Hmm, uh, I think so. M maybe it's her. Edric replied with doubt. Well, come on. We badly need to get restored. The two assume she's the witch Madin, but she turns out to be Vanabi, a vain witch wannabe who has taken Madin's house, pets, and possession and plans to use the frog for a potion. 
she thinks will make her eternally beautiful. With the aid of Madin's former pets, the two frogs escape and free all the prisoners. The animals confirm that Madin has disappeared, so Emma suggests they go to Gracina for help. All the bat and the fang, the snake accompany them as protection during the journey. Though Fang lives after reuniting with his lover, Clarice, at the castle, Gracina confirms their identity and explains why they're both stuck as frogs. While Emma kissed Idric, she had been wearing the coarse reversal bracelet. Gracina had given her in case an evil witch had attacked Emma. And to transform back Emma, Idric will have to kiss her again while wearing the bracelet. Emma recalls that it was stolen by an otter so that she headed to the swamp to retrieve it. Another reason we should get out of here as fast as we can. Ah, look at those things. Edric leaps crinkled in disgust when an attached tentacle slid to the floor and oozed toward the table leaving a slime trail behind it. Let's go! Summer safe! Gracina is unable to progress further into the swamp due to a heredity course placed on green witches involving the flower, which until now she had passed off as an allergy, and Edric is chased again by pursuing love. So Emma has to confront the author alone. She passes herself off as a powerful fairy and performs some magic to convince the author to turn over the bracelet, and Darudy manages to kiss Edric before the dog catches up to both of them. After a long journey, the two transform back into humans, and the dog transform as well. It turns out to be Edric horse that he had been riding on when he met Madin, who had also cursed his steed. Returning to Gracina, she finds her aunt with the author, who is actually Gracina's old bow, Highwood, cursed by Gracina's witch mother. The two couples make plans to conceive their respective parents that they've found their own true loves.